This is a day for massages. Is that what they call a Swedish massager? I guess it could be. You boys ain't from around here, are you? Where are you boys trying to head to? Now you boys best keep riding. This town ain't big enough for the two of us. Here we go. Brand new clipper. Oh, that's cutting nice. So what I want to do, I want to cut this right to the embarkation of this line right here. That's where my hair stops. <laughs> yeah. So you'll have a, a little bit of a comb over, which actually will blend in pretty nicely. Oh, that's right. That's I'll call nice. it. I'll call it my convertible top. At least it's my own hair. <laughs> So you had a shop in Culver City? Yeah, I did. That's where my parents met in 1959. Yeah, that was my last shop before coming here. I, I did a lot of haircuts for MGM Studios. And a lot of movie stars, huh? Yeah, they asked me to take over the barber shop inside the MGM studio. Oh, wow. But I, I told them not to want to do that because they wouldn't allow me to take my outside customers into the studio lot. So I would have lost a lot of customers that I would have gained inside and lost outside. So I had to figure out what I to do. So I just, I just kept my other customers. And that's why I, I've never got a lot of credit from the movie because I never was there inside the lot. So who's the most famous uh, person in oh. Harry's cut? Well, probably the most famous person I did, which actually was last the longest, was Red Button. Oh, wow. Yeah, I did him for a lot, a lot of years. You know, he actually started out, you know, on uh, Thanking Our Gang. Is that right? Yeah. He yeah, was he, in the Poseidon Adventure, too, right? Yeah, he was, what do you call it, uh, in the Bargo, up in the Casco in New York. Oh. And that's where he started his showmanship right up in there. How many customers do you have now? You must have uh, hundreds. I really never count them. Um, I don't know too many barbers who actually count their customers. I'm sure there may be some, but... Well, there's always a nice line out the door when I come. Uh, it doesn't take long, but there's always a few people here wanting a cut. It's never empty. Yeah. So what now I did, I used a three and three quarter, and now I use a, a three and a half to kind of give them a little bit of a taper. Yeah, I like it tapered up the back. Good. Okay. So you do it, uh, it makes it look good with the, uh, you know, the rest of it, the top, with the top. You're, you're the artist. No, you only think I am the artist. 
Now, do you have um, those big clippers still? You have those big scissors, right? Yeah, yeah, I still got those. Okay, let's get this in. You know, this is the first time I'm using a small clipper in my videos. But you know, different tools have different jobs. And sometimes you just play around with different clippers and come up with different ideas. Now, you know, in, in doing your, your tapering, you, you do not want to go into this line you have here. You want to keep this cover so it looks real nice. It's kind of a real natural line. Um, every haircut's just a little different in some fashion. So we need to cut these little tips right there. It's my big scissors, okay? Wow, you handle those scissors like they're a smaller pair. Yeah. Now you see how nice your hair just flows into that? It's a little bit of an undercut. It just fits you real well. Wow, thank you, Cliff. And you got nice top coverage. You're handsome man, Joe. <laughs> thank you, sir. That's Joe. Joseph. What else would you be? Oh, uh, that's about it. I've, I've, I've been called a few other things, but that's... <laughs> <laughs> it's always a pleasure, Cliff, I have yeah. to say. Yeah. Uh, well, I have to just finish you up a little bit more, okay? Yes, you got it. Yeah, I'm going to get you the razor. That's the best part. Yeah, it kind of gives you that clean feeling there.
You know the last customer I did? I gave them a little bit of a hand vibrator. I bet you want to know what that feels like too. Oh, sure, why not? Okay. This is a day for massages. Is that what they call a Swedish massager? I guess it could be. I just call it an Oscar hand massager. Oh. Oh yeah, you could it really stimulates the scalp. Okay, yeah, I'm jealous myself. <laughs> Oh, this is like the royal treatment. Yeah. Yeah, I need to just trim your eyebrows one second, okay? And then I'll comb your hair. Just a little bit. See how I changed the clipper for the eyebrows. Sometimes I comb it up and cut it with the scissors. Sometimes I just gauge it. Sometimes I just use my comb and gauge. It just depends. Wow, feel like a new man. Pretty nice, huh? Thank you, sir. Yeah, that vibrator got some stimulation. <laughs> it's outstanding. Okay. All right, so uh, that, that's it then, right? Yeah, I just want to throw just a little bit of spray on there, just a smidge, just in case it's windy or something. Hello. Your friend? Yeah, hold on. Thanks. Excellent. More business. More customers. Hey, you did that, that non-stop. Yeah, three people work. That's because you're good at what you do, sir. <laughs> Thanks, you. Thank you, sir. Oh, thank you. How you feel after a long day? Great. Tired? Tired. Good. Good. Well, you relax a bit, have a soda, and sit down, kick it. I'm gonna clean up a little bit. And thanks. <laughs>